bit sorry for sheep. They're kind of out in all weathers. I mean, I'm sure they don't care, but you lot are looking particularly dirty due to the manky weather the last few days, aren't you guys? Look at them, they're absolutely filthy. So, I mean, their field is like a swamp. Um, <laughs> interesting way to start a vlog, isn't it? Morning, guys. How are we all doing? It's a Friday. I'm so happy it's a Friday. I've been willing it to be a Friday since Tuesday. Um, for some reason, I've been craving a lay-in. Like, every time I'm getting up in the morning at the moment, I just don't want to get up. And I just, like, I just want to sleep longer. So, finally, it's the weekend. And I can have a little snooze tomorrow morning. And even if it's half an hour, I don't need, like, hours more. I just need a little bit longer in the morning. Um, so, I'm very much looking forward to that. Also, it is dry. It's not windy. It's cold. So, the weather, hopefully, has hit its change. Um, I mean, could it have rained any more? <laughs> like you literally look out the window and also it's not just like we were getting drizzle we we're getting heavy rain over and over again I was thinking it can't seriously can't keep raining this much like we're all going to be swimming everywhere um yeah what a week it's been weather wise with storm henk in the middle of it and that was wild we had a few crazy hours at home where just like we had to like rope um my gates down and everything so I'm literally going to fly off like wild weather but um yes hopefully We've hit the changing point and we're going to have some calmer weather for a little one. As much as I hate cold weather and I really do hate it, um, I'm down for a little bit of a change. I I'm ready for it because I'm, I'm done with wet and windy. I'm definitely finished. I we don't need any more of that this winter whatsoever. Tree dam for me and Coco having to do a little, oh, Coco, a little off-roading without snacking if possible, Coco. It's not particularly nice in here, actually. Um, I think you get off there. Down there, sweetheart. It's a bit crunchy not eating there we go there we go <laughs> you're out <laughs> coco's not one for a bit of off-roading it would seem um yes so anyway i hope you're all all right and like i say have survived the week of tricky weather i have to say i've slightly gone off the boil with the horses in the fact that they've just not been worked anywhere near as much as they were before christmas i was managing to keep on top of doing sienna like five or six times a week and it's definitely dropped back to four um, and not been very much in the arena just because when it's been so windy she's a little bit like a kite <laughs> and it's just there's been no point taking her in the arena it's just better off taking her for a hack so she has been doing a lot of hacking but not much arena work which I need to get going again with if it's going to be calmer as long as the arena doesn't freeze that will be my next issue if it does drop to like below zero then I am going to struggle with my arena because it's useless and it freezes at a drop of a hat so yeah that'll be the only downside morning i thought i would show you my first boxing day purchase and that is this equine america's no more moods which one of you guys actually recommended in the comments on one of my vlogs obviously for sienna um and i feel so stupid now because i had a real deja vu moment about this a few weeks back and i thought we've been down this road before with her at winter where she just sort of goes a little bit unhappy she just doesn't you know she's not necessarily grumpy she hasn't got really she's not marish she's not biting she's not kicking she's nothing like that she just she looks a bit depressed if anything and understandably so she's not out in the field they're not getting as much exercise i also think she really dislikes the wind i've realized that wind really winds her up even when she's just stable she just doesn't like wind anyway purchased it it was on offer i think it's still on offer when i last checked it was um and they did free delivery so i was really impressed with that and sent me a bag of free treats as well i say me obviously for the horses um i don't normally buy my horses treats either like carrots is about as far as i go so that was really nice i don't know if it was just left over from christmas i can't promise they send free treats with every order but it was a very nice surprise but yeah she's been on it now for a week and a half because it came so quickly and i already think she's looking happier and just less miserable to be honest <laughs> so that was good future reference i think she just needs to stay on one of these supplements all year round and hopefully that will do the trick Anyway, let's get going because it's now Saturday and i got lots of jobs to do. This was my other Boxing Day purchase. I'm very excited to try this. So I have a bit of a cranky old neck um, due to whiplash many years ago and I find pillows aggravated. So I wanted to try this. So it needs to puff up a bit more, but you can see the shape of this pillow. So it's a lot flatter, but it also has this groove here. So I'm hoping this is what's going to help my neck. So this is the parcel I've been waiting for. This was my big spend on Boxing Day. So this was in the sale. Is it pink? Oh, black and purple. I was going to say it's for corporal, so I'm not sure I'd appreciate pink. It was in the sale. I thought, get it now while it is. Um, this because Sienna stood on the last one and broke it, so it picked up a new one. And this because, you know, 
I must have bought such a big one. But again, I think it was reduced. But this, this is the main thing. I'm excited, but oh, I'll keep my fingers crossed they fit because I've gone for a slim. <laughs> Let's hope my calves are feeling slim. So I had to throw my summer boots away last summer because they were literally hanging. So these are new summer boots. Oh, they've been a bit bent. The box looks incredibly rough. Um, but look. They're black with this lovely little bit of blue. They do look quite look like they need to unfold themselves a bit. Um, and that all looks quite creased. But hopefully with time, that will come out all right. Um, but yeah, what do we think about the bit of blue? And there we go. I'm in. The only thing is they're quite high on the back at the moment. So hopefully, once I start wearing them in the spring, they'll drop a little bit. Oh, I think they've even got like a little rim of blue there. Oh, that's a nice feature. I don't know how well I can show you, but they've, they've got a rim of blue going across there as well, which I like. But yeah, so not, not like too tacky, not too over the top, um, but I like the little bit of blue um, that is also like on the back there. I just, <laughs> they're just going to need to drop a bit behind the knee. Um, but yeah, I'm quite pleased with them. I'm also rather chuffed that my calves fit into them. wanted to add that I wasn't talking to myself I had a kid riding a pony literally right behind my bike so I am out hacking with my two oh where's she gone <laughs> wasn't pointing the camera in the right direction it's blue skies it's blue skies it's so nice um I'm trying to go on some longer rides this weekend because next week we've got the vet for a corporal oh, Sienna it's gonna be a busy week next week it's gonna be an expensive week next week and I just need to it's not being mean to him I just need to try and get a little bit of energy off of her because otherwise we've got to lunge her and do some trot ups and she is going to be sparky. So my plan is to just try and tire her a little bit this weekend because she's so excited. We're hacking somewhere we don't hack that often and she just loves it. Like when you go somewhere new, she's just in her element. <laughs> I mean, she's a little annoying because she tends to just want to trot the whole time. And poor corporal, look at her. She's just so mean to him all the time. Oh, Sienna. Um, but yeah, she loves it. Um, so, yes, next week will be interesting. I'll try and vlog as much as I can. I mean, the vets aren't going to want to be vlogged, but it is quite interesting what we're doing with Sienna. Corporal, not so much, but um, Sienna definitely. So, yeah, vlog about that. I have to say, for 2024 has a, I've said this already in the vlog, has a, a feeling to it, a vibe, an energy. I don't know what you want to call it. <laughs> Just checking there's nobody cycling or walking by me. Um, and I don't think I've ever felt so energised for a year and wanting to kind of have quite a big year in change and in progress and growth and all that kind of thing i mean i always sound like a bit of a punk when you say words like that but i have pardon you you gassy moo oh, don't bite him don't bite him um yeah just i'm trying to make changes i'm trying not to make changes that are too big because i'm the sort of person that i want to go all in and then last about two days and i'm like i'm over this um so trying to make little changes to hopefully lead me along to bigger changes with home, with work. Not so much the horses at the moment, because horses, I feel like there's not masses I can do here right now other than try and sort Sienna out. Um, but yeah, and it's just, I just feel quite motivated and it's one of those feelings you just wish you could bottle, isn't it? Because it's such a lovely feeling. I'm reading an amazing book at the moment, which isn't a new book out, so you probably would have read it before, but it's called Atomic Habits. And it's just make, about making small changes to help get to those bigger changes and also it's less about setting big goals but more about kind of your process your system and hopefully that will if you improve your system that will bring you to those goals anyway it's just a really good book to read like i said it's like six years old but uh, i'm loving it at the moment and it's keeping me feeling very kind of just excited and motivated and inspired and all the things that it's nice to feel like so here's to 2024 and hopefully it's going to bring me some big changes some exciting steps forward that's what i'm planning anyway sun already beginning to set over there why do the weekends go so fast they just whiz by <laughs> never feel like i get enough done because they go so quickly i just um <laughs> just made some banana i'm not i'm no cook or baker or anything i'm rubbish at things like that mainly because i don't follow <laughs> the recipe very well so i thought oh i'll make some um banana muffins because i had some that was sort of bananas that were going past their best and i thought oh, yeah i got some chocolate chips like well make them nice <laughs> they've come out of the oven 
some of them look okay, but I've had a little taste and they don't taste that great. <laughs> they don't taste that great. So I offered my mum one as well because we went for a nice little walk this afternoon. And I was like, what do you think? And she was like, mm. <laughs> I just bear off buying them. I waste so much money on ingredients trying to make stuff. Honestly, I'm dreadful. I am dreadful, aren't I? Oh, you've got a very sticky chin from that lick. Um, yeah, just come on to finish the vlog. Really. It's been a very chatty vlog, which I know is not the best. Next week's going to be interesting though, isn't it? Let's see what this vet says. It's sort of... It's not something that I can, like, pin all my hopes on, but I just hope it's another step to understanding if there's anything going on. You never know. I might just be making it up um, and sorting you out. You were very sprightly in the turnout pen today, weren't you? Oh, honestly, she was such a plonker. I came out to her literally bucking and rearing, cantering into the, like, Barney bit, out of the Barney bit, weren't you? I'm glad you're looking a bit tired, huh? I think we need to go even longer, right? I don't think that was long enough this morning, was it? You've still got way too much energy. Way too much energy. Yes. Um, anyway, I'm going to leave that off there. And I will see you guys next week.